So the thing about cabling in your average enterprise data center is that I just don't care anymore. I think that people care far too much about cabling instead of really focusing on what matters. I'm not here to tell you that cabling doesn't matter, but I think it matters less than you think. This is a controversial point of view. People care a lot about cabling. And I think that most people think that because cabling is easy to understand, you plug it in, you touch it, you end up with a bit of a scenario called bike shedding. The idea behind bike shedding is you can build a building, a 20-story building that's hugely complex, it's on soil that's soft and so the building might fall over, it's in central San Francisco maybe and it's you know an earthquake zone. Who knows how to build a foundation? Who knows how to design the concrete reinforcement that will hold up a 20-story building? But if you have a bike shed and you put it out the back and you put out an email asking for people to contribute their points of view and their thoughts on the bike shed, quite often you'll end up in a meeting room with dozens of people who've got opinions about what the bike shed should look like, how many bikes should it hold, how many colours. People who think they understand something or they feel they have something to contribute because they understand the idea of it is that they'll actually come out and contribute. Instead of contributing to, I have a 20-story building and therefore it should have this sort of layout, they'll leave that to an expert. But obviously a bike shed is something that you understand. I think cabling is in this area. The reason being is that everybody can see a cable and work out what it is. So I don't want to say that cabling is a waste of time. What I'm saying is too much cabling is a waste of time. Cabling can make a difference. I am a big believer in cabling. So the simple activities that you need to do is that tidy cabling is better than untidy cabling. Uh, things like when you put a patch lead in, make sure that you run it through some stress relief. Why is a stress relief important? Mostly it's a mechanical thing. If you leave a cable hanging, gravity will pull on it over time and eventually the copper will stretch. And if you're in a cable that has uh, a proper patch lead cable, which has multiple copper cores inside, those cores can start to snap. But the most weakness is actually in the RJ45 connector because they're not strain relieved very properly. So if the cable's actually hanging down, you've got all that cabling mass just pulling on the, and the, the where the vampire splice cuts through the copper in the RJ45 connector will start to pull away and you'll get degradation in signal quality. That to me is the key issue. If you're doing stress relief, that's important. It's only important if it's going to be in place for years. It doesn't really matter after that. Tidy cabling is better than untidy cabling, but cabling is better than any cabling is better than no cabling. If you can't connect it, if the only choice you have is to do untidy cabling, then so be it. There is a point at which tidy cabling becomes pointless. If you fuss and fret about cabling all the time, you're actually costing your employer money because you're just pointlessly uh, faffing. Like, it doesn't matter if the cables are blue or green or purple, uh, just get the cable in there, put it through a stress relief, make it tidy so that the next cable that can go in is fine, keep the documentation up to date and then be done. The question here is cost. How much time and money do you spend pointlessly running cables through your infrastructure and then tidying them up and having arguments about who put the cable, why is the cable not the right length and why is it the wrong colour? Sure, it's lovely to be able to tour people around and maybe if you the sort of people who have people who tour your data center then putting the time and effort in to have a visually pleasing data center is worthwhile. Well, let me recap. What does good cabling even mean? I think good cabling means color coding. If you've got a shared infrastructure, which is far less these days, in the old days we used to have telephony, voice, and then we had data. We had different types of data. Sometimes we would have FIDI, sometimes we'd have token rank, sometimes we'd have various types of different networks in there. The old voice networks, uh, there was a time back in history when we had four pair in the wall and only two pair was used by Ethernet and we used to use the other pair for voice and various other things as well. And we'd have various connectors that could split them out. Yes, having a color-coded scheme made sense 20 years ago. Does it make sense today? I am not so sure. It's nice to have pretty harnesses, you know, those things that you do and you put them in. Hey! Huh? <laughs> Do you know what? I really don't care at the end of the day as long as the stress relief is in place. Whether it's pretty or not doesn't actually change the network. The network is either working or not working. In a previous video I've talked about the network being nominal. Have a look for it. Um, it's good to have the correct cables. So do have, do take time to make sure that if you're running a Cat6 network, you're running Cat6 connectors, you're running Cat6 cables, you're building Cat6 patch leads, your uh, patch frames are all built to Cat6, your cross connects are all Cat6. Yes, all of that is important, but that does not mean that having a red Cat6 cable should stop you from just plugging in a blue one because you're, somebody had this debate 10 years ago about what is the right color coding. Really here is as a networking professional, how much value 
are you do you create for your employer are you really in a situation where futzing around with cables endlessly actually matters fiber optic cables they go to come in one color Sure, you can get orange or blue, but nobody really futzes around about different colors. They just plunge them in and run them through a stress relief. Everything I said about copper cables applies to fiber, although fiber optic cable, the real worry is bend radius. You can't uh, do this to a cable because you could actually snap the fiber core. Worse is it not when you actually snap the core. At least if you snap the core, it's broken. The problem is when you just damage it a little bit and there's loss injected in the signal path because uh, everything about fiber optic cable is about power sum so if you put a kink in the cable then the light gets dispersed as it goes through it and that causes power loss that is the concern with fiber optic cables i'm less concerned about a breakage or the color of the cable than i am about sufficient stress relief or running them through a pathway where the bend radius is being looked after it, it, and and where the cable hangs down, again, gravity pulls on a fiber optic cable, but generally a fiber optic cable is not that heavy that the weight of it matters. Much more concerned about cleanliness of the fiber optic connectors. So are you doing really practical things like cleaning the fiber optic connectors every time you patch them in and out? When you put them in, are the connectors the right time? That's what I'm concerned about. So when it comes to cabling, I don't care about color. I don't care about prettiness and looks. All I care about is stress relief and getting the job done because the real value is in the software that runs over the top. Only job is focusing on cabling, then sure, you probably want to do a nice job or a good job, but really, after that, nobody cares. And neither should you. The network is nominal. It works or it doesn't work. Overspending time and spending the company's money getting that done isn't going to help anybody. I'm Greg Farrow. Thanks for watching. This is a heads up from Packet Pushes, our YouTube channel. Uh, if you have liked this, maybe you want to subscribe and you can be notified when the next one comes out. Or you can head over to our website at packetpushes.net. We've got lots of great podcasts and lots of other content for you to visualize. Thanks.